Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. So, Ace Money here. So, uh, Friday, TGIF. We got our uh, two games on the slate. Uh, Knicks, Indiana. Pacers are playing at home for the first time. Got a couple injuries on the Knicks. but That's nothing new. Um, start with the first game. Jump right in. I got Hartenstein. First quarter points over two and a half. They brought it down from three, uh, from from three and a half. It's gone over this the last four games. Him four, 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 and four. Um, his full game points they raise it up to like twelve, I think. It's a little high. He's probably gonna hit right around that. Um. First quarter, he's playing almost the whole thing. Uh, you know, they've been running these couple pick and rolls, stuff like that. Uh, and get him going in the beginning. You know, he should go over this, especially with uh, Ananobi being out, Robinson being out. It's not like they're going to sub him out. Uh, yeah, so I got Hartenstein, first quarter points, two and a half. Normally do a uh, half unit first quarter, but uh, it depends on your unit size. So, I mean, I'm doing personally a full unit. I usually don't like to do that if, uh, because, you know, you never know what could happen. It's only 12 minutes, but um, I've been betting full units on this play. So, uh, use your discretion. All right, so I got Hartenstein, two and a half first quarter points. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go. All right, for this next play, I'm running with the Energizer Bunny, Josh Hart points. They raised it up, I believe, by one. 16 and a half. I uh, opened at 17 and a half, so I went down a little bit. Got it at, uh, what do we got at? 120. On uh, FanDuel, make sure you line shop. Key theme, always, not only line shop the odds, line shop the the actual uh, the line itself, the points. Um, alt line, definitely alt line if you can. Just gives you a little better chance of hitting. Might pay a little more juice, but... Uh, for a couple dollars, increases your odds highly. You already know the books are right on point. So I will always be hooking. Uh, yeah, so with Brunson being injured, who really knows what happened? Kind of looked like he got clapped in the nuts. And he want, they tried to say it was his foot, but maybe it was knee. I, I really don't know. But, uh, so I'm sure he's not going to be limited, but God forbid if he gets if son had. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm not trying to speak that shit into existence. But yeah, Hart needs to play. He's turned it up. His scoring abilities. Um, he hasn't really been shooting a three ball lately. Not that he's ever done it in the past, but there was a stretch that he was letting letting him go. But um. Yeah, I just believe this number is still a little too low. He's going to go over it. Not by much. Maybe 20, 22. Um, you know, people are saying the Pacers are going to win today. They got a big spread, minus seven. Uh, Knicks like to beat on the dogs. Uh, they might, Pacers might be leading all the way up to the third, to the fourth. And Knicks are going to come back. Um, that's what I feel, you know, biased New Yorker, but yeah, so Josh Harper has been doing really well. If you've been watching the games, you've seen him. He, uh, he's up and down the court, 
he gets a couple easy baskets just by pushing the pace. He's shooting 50% from the field. Uh, his free throws, 71 from the stripe, 43% from three-point, shooting about, uh, averaging about 12 shots a game, four threes, and uh, almost four free throws. So, yeah, got Josh Hart. Well, especially with Ananobi being hurt, they limited now, so these players got to step up. All right, on to the next one. Going with Halliburton, first quarter, over five and a half points. Uh, like I said, Indiana's coming home. Desperate for a win. I believe he's going to come out strong. He's probably going to have a decent game anyway. But uh, he's been playing almost the whole first. He's gone over this three, four, five, five out of the last six. Um, let's check his home games. Come on, sorry. His last three home games, he's gone over this. Four out of the last five home games, he's gone over this. Trending up, but, uh, this was a couple of a couple of days ago. But, yeah, so, uh... Actually, they got a plus money right now on uh, Caesars and ESPN. But uh, I played it on FanDuel. But, yeah, so he's going to come out strong. He's going to go over this. I uh, sure do hope so. Uh, this one as well, I played it a full unit. I normally do half units on first quarter. So, once again, use your discretion. If your unit size is, is larger, you might want to do, uh, do a half. But, uh, yeah, I just I feel like they're going to take advantage. I don't know. be not being there. They're going to come out strong. They got their crowd, their home crowd behind them. And he should go over this easily. All right, I got uh, Halliburton, first quarter, over five and a half. Four, quattro, going Andrew Nemhart, uh, points and assists over 14 and a half. Uh, minus 112 on DraftKings. I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I played his assists last game. I think I played him the game before as well. I was juggling between that. They got him at three and a half assists. He's been getting four and like gone over like the last five games. But uh his points he's been going over two. They got it at ten and a half. I figure he's been getting at least four assists. So with the ten and a half with the four, I just combined them together. Um as you see he's gone over this the last seven games. Let's see what it, this little thing says. He's exceeded 14 and a half points and assists in four of the last five home games, averaging 18. I could switch this to uh, see what he's been doing at home. As you see, the last four home games, it's all in the playoffs. He's gone over this. His minutes has ticked up in the playoffs as well. Uh, shooting 53% from the field. Go back. Shooting 67% uh, from the field. Three points, 33%, 100% free throws. I mean, it was one of one. He's averaging about about nine shots a game, averaging 32 minutes. Like I said, they're going home. They're going to be in front of the home crowd. They're going to be pumped up. Um, desperately need a win. They cannot fall behind 3-0. And... Uh, 
They're going to be out there balling, trying to ball at least, taking advantage of this Knicks team that's it's like an injured bird. Uh, yeah, so I played his points and assists this time. Over 14 and a half. Let's get it. All right, before I get into this next play, if you could, please like the video. Uh, for all these new viewers, please subscribe. Turn the notifications on. I place a lot of live bets. Um, this way you get it instantly because you got to be fast with them and put them in. Uh, as well as, you know, I'm trying to grow this channel. Been doing this for about a month. Uh, YouTube channel that is so uh, just about at 100 subscribers I think what I'm going to do if I start getting some interaction with you guys uh, I'm going to think of how I can do a giveaway uh, you know we'll we meet, meet some benchmarks and uh, start giving some stuff away maybe some money help you guys bet but uh, yeah so like subscribe and if you could leave a comment, you know, let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how you're doing. Uh, you can write anything, your favorite team, the state you're from. Tell me that I'm trash. Uh, anything. I got, you know, it helps get, get the video out there. You guys comment and you like. It shows it in the, uh, you know, on the home screen more. It gets the video out there to more people and get it going. Uh, obviously, I'm a small channel. But uh, I I really uh, this is my job. You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying I'm a professional. Better definitely an amateur. I've been doing it a couple years, but this is how I make my money. Um, I don't bet crazy unit sizes. I'm not one of them people. I don't have other money backing me. You know, actually I started with started with like eighty dollars. Placed a couple bets, turned it over, kept flipping it. I take money out all the time to pay my bills, leave some money in there, and I and I just I just play and I grow and I, you know, I'm committing sportsbook robbery. So yeah, I appreciate y'all. Uh, next bet I got Neesmith over ten and a half points minus one forty on uh, DraftKings. He's uh, you don't look too good on this screen, right? He didn't hit his last game. Hit the game before. The game before that, head to excuse me, head to head. He's eighty eight percent. Last five sixty. 20, last twenty sixty. The whole year he's about sixty percent. But with this, with this data site right here, outlier. Come on. To show his home games, right? Now you see how he's done in his last home games, and he's gone over this plenty of times. The last three games, he's gone over this. He's uh, he's exceeded eleven and a half points in five of six, averaging fourteen points. So uh, I believe he's going to go over it. So. If, Site's pretty cool. You can break it down on like how many days rest they have. You know, like I just did home away. You can take certain players out. You know, maybe one day I'll be able to get a little sponsorship. But until then, I'm not promoting them. No, I'm kidding. I use it all the time and it's good. But, uh, and it's free. I mean, I pay for it. You can use other, other advantages in it, but you can get it for free. Outline.com. But yeah, we got Neesmith over 10 and a half. He's shooting pretty well. Uh, 53% from the field. Not a three-point shooter. But 100% uh, from the stripe. Gone over this 8 out of 10 at home. So, yeah. Head to, oh, yeah, the other thing was to head-to-head -head against the Knicks. Come on. And to head at home, he's gone over this every time, too. So, yeah. Let's get it. Al Smith points over 10 and a half. 
with six and a half points, minus one weight, Drive Kings. Um there we go. He's uh got fourteen last game. This is for the night game. It's Denver. Denver versus Timberwolves. Yeah, I had 14 the last game. Once again, I'm going to break it down to uh, show the home games because they're coming home. As well as I can show they got three days rest. Show how he did off that. As you see, three days rest. Home games. He's gone over this every time. You know, some of them doubling it. Last game versus Phoenix, he had 18. Played a couple more minutes that game, but uh, shooting 60% from the field, 25 from three. But uh, even if we break it down with, with regular rest, just the home games, he's gone over this, eight out of 10. Uh, he's exceeded six and a half points in six of the last seven home games, averaging a little over 12. Uh, you know, the, we'll see what happens today. Denver is a good team. You know, they got history. It's a good team. I feel like they're going to step it up, but I don't know. I don't know if Tim Wolves are too much. There was a lot of plays I kind of liked with the Timberwolves. I kind of faded the uh, the Nuggets just because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, you know, so we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, for my last play, I got Walker over six and a half points. He's been, you know, at last five, 80%. For the whole year, he's gone over this 50%. He's playing more minutes. Um, averaging about eight attempts a game. A couple free throws. One three. So, uh, yeah, he should go over this. I got a walker over six and a half points. Uh, Ace money to name game, paper to game. Thank <laughs> you.